Welcome back to Everything Whiskey, I'm Callum. I'm Sam. Today we're having a look at the Willet Bourbon. This is weird. This is very strange, <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, we're Three finally, finally <laughs> back. You can, first video back and I'm making you cork it in the editing. Um, Oh, it's so much better to be filming in person. This yeah. is so much better. First time in three months we've been able to record yeah. together. So thank God that's over. All right, uh, and today we're doing the Willet Pot Still. Um, I was about to pour some more. Um, <laughs> but we'll do that after. Seriously sick bottle. Um, we've been waiting hours to pour though. Yeah, it's very like the balance is yep. off. You kind of like overshoot. And when it's full, it glides out as well. Yeah. <laughs> but at least there's some left because he's had this for like over a month. I can uh, maintain my levels of whiskey consumption though. Yeah. Because I buy more than <laughs> Yeah, that's true, you buy a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, so we'll get into it. Basically, Willet is um, relatively small in that they don't, it's kind of a weird one. So they're like a uh, heavyweight when it comes to like independent bottling. Like they do- Independent. Independent. <laughs> <laughs> um, when it comes to like independent uh, bottling, uh, and stuff like that. So they, they make fair bit and it does get sent out quite a bit to other places. Yeah. Uh, they make a lot of rye and a lot of bourbon. Uh, but when it comes to their own stuff, um, like they're not even sure whether this is made in Willet Distillery or if they're like sourcing it and stuff. There's like a mm. lot of different, they're trying to get it in house. And I, I think there's a lot, it, it's been changing a lot over the years. Yeah, Basically yeah. this one initially, it was like a single barrel and it moved to a, like a small batch, now it's a pot still. Yep. Uh, and that was around 2012, 2015, just because of like the massive resurgence of like popularity in bourbon and stuff. And it's kind of made it difficult for them to have things like single barrels. It's mm. just, you need, yeah. need to be, you know, Blantons and stuff to be able to sell as much, uh, to have as much available yeah, to yeah. sell to everyone. Um, but we'll get in the notes, uh, quickly the, what is it? So it's 47%, 94 yeah. proof. Um, is there anything? The lot extra, number. Uh, lot number 10, 18, 2016, if that matters. Um, they're located in Bardstown in Kentucky. Yep. Uh, so we'll get onto the nose. It's so rich brown sugar on the nose. Nice fruitiness. Mm. Raspberries or... It's just sweet. Yeah, light sweet kind of like yeah. caramel and a decent whack of barrel bitterness. Toffee apples. Yeah. Just like classic, like uh, kind of dusty, musty uh, yeah. corn sugar. This is like core bourbon nose. Without it's a very, there's, there's uh, a hint of cherry, but there's not like a cherry bomb. There's, in there, there's but... yeah, there's definitely cherry there, but it's not like a um, rare breed or anything like yeah. that. Mmm, sweet. Ooh. It's got like this sweet. Yeah. There's this nice musty um. Toffee. I was about to say, like, it's like there's this butteriness in there for me, like popcorn. Mm, yeah. It's like the corn, like, you know, when it's like half popped and it's like super crunchy and stuff. Mm. It's like that. It's like it's the corn, like, from, for the bourbon, but it's also got like this kind of buttered butterscotch yeah, yeah. kind of saltiness. The finish is quite dry. The rye notes, the rye, like, kicks in on the finish. It's like yeah. a bit more. Just dry, like that dry barrel bitterness. It's, it's more kind of like green as well. And green. Yeah. And getting some nice fruit, like lemon. Coming back to the nose after you've actually tasted There's it. There's fruit serious citrus out. in the nose yeah. now. There's like a uh, mandarin or orange peel. Mm. It's like, it smells kind of like an old fashioned. With a little pinch thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little like uh, squeeze. A little yeah. squeeze of <laughs> uh, the, a little pinch, pinch of the orange rind. Yeah, yeah. The kind of like bitters, mm. um, bourbon, sugar. What was that video on the whiskey <sighs> tribe where the master distillers chose their favourite whiskey? That? Yeah, it was probably that. Um, <laughs> one of them chose Willet. I can't remember which I one it that. was. Um, because they brought it in like a tube sock. They're trying to hide what whiskey, but it was quite <laughs> obvious what bottle it was. Which I found funny. It wouldn't have looked like whiskey though. Yeah, right? I can see why people... It's super, it's whiskey. like very typical bourbon. Yeah. But it's got some like cool notes in there. I like the fruity citrus notes. I like the sweetness. It's super balanced. It doesn't super, taste like 47. It's, I was about to, it's, I reckon it's slightly thin if you compare it to like what it says its proof is. Yeah. It's 
like not thin if you're comparing to like 40 percenters or anything it's more thick than that but for a 47 percenter it feels a little bit thinner than that which is not a problem but yeah, it's drinks just like something a, drinks like a 43 I'd yeah say. definitely because like when you go what three above this you're at knob creek level mm. which kind of is just so much that's awesome. in that. yeah. especially the rye yeah the only kick i get is um the kind of barrel bitterness on the finish yeah um, and the rye notes on the finish but apart from that it's super easy going tons of brown sugar tons of that like yeah just yeah. mashed it, it seriously smells and tastes like a um super potent old-fashioned for me is what i'm getting a lot now the more this sits in the glass, it's opening up and it's more like, I'm getting like a, a whiny almost nose. Like yeah, the, like the darker dark, fruit. Yeah, darker, yeah. salt, tar, raisin. Yeah. No, I'm definitely getting that and the sweetness is like increasing as well. So it's like kind of a... It's, it's reminding like, me of Rollins a little bit. Because that has a little whininess. It's a lot more kick to it though. Should we uh, just compare? We can compare. Since we're in the setup. <laughs> Alright, Rollins. I think this gets compared quite a bit on our channel. But... It's because we like it. It's just an excuse to drink yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. But also it's like... It's got cool bourbon notes, but it's got like a weird, like nice raspberry, what, raspberry resin, sherry, yeah. Kind of, yeah, wine note to it. It's, it's, it's getting really close. loose, that cork, but... Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah we're gonna have to... I don't even know what to do. We're gonna be kind of like jar full of corks. Yeah. Comparing them side by side, the it does have a bit more sweetness. Yeah. This is more raspberry. I reckon the Willet has a bit more body on the nose as well. That's just because this is Whenever slightly. you pour it straight in into a cold glass and stuff, and this has been like warmed up sitting in there, like yeah. it's the, I can f like, I just put my nose there and I'm getting heaps, but I have to stuff my nose into that to get anything. And normally that one, Rowan's is like much more aromatic. I thought you just necked the entire thing. <laughs> I felt like it. Notice they're quite similar. The taste. Taste, this has got a lot more body in it. Um, a lot more kick. A lot more kick, a lot more, more fruitiness. Bright well. fruits. Like, yeah, it's got that tartness of it. Um, the uh, raspberry and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But they, uh, they're definitely kind of the same kind of line. A little bit, yeah. This is kind of a bit too sweet for me. Mm. Like, this is very sweet and easy going. I like it a lot, but I think to have a lot of, or just if it was, if I could make it, change it in any way. Yeah. And just to be to add some more kind of punch to it. Mm. Maybe some like saltiness, just some lighter fruits and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's I want to know what the single barrel taste of it is like. Because apparently, like five, apparently back then it was, um, yeah, probably high proof, but it was yeah. also like eight to ten years. And this is not. They don't know, they don't tell you, but yeah. uh, apparently uh, everyone is in agreeing so that it's definitely not that. Mm. Uh, and it's the, the single barrel. Uh, was much better in like quality and stuff, but this is still not bad at all. I like it and I freaking love the bottle shape. On a weird side note, when I got this, I don't know if it was the parcel that this was next to, but the cork stunk like lavender. Like you I said that when I saw you. Like, like lavender oil. I did not get it. Didn't you say you like had, you just washed your hands or something? No, no, that the cork stunk of lavender. The wood does, it's yeah. not the cork, it's the, like, yeah, like the top that, of, yeah, no, yeah. it still does. Yeah, that's what it was so potent though. I, <laughs> there must have been like someone with their essential oils or something. Oils. I don't know. Yeah, that does. Imagine if they're using like lavender. Oh, it's not really tree, is it? How big do they get? <laughs> Plants. Yeah, highly doubt it. Lavender as well. And tile and it smells not the. Yes. And lavender is it even. What are we talking about? <laughs> um, we'll roll this one out. Super good to be back finally. Yeah. Um, Feels so much more natural. Yeah, much better. We enjoy it much more. Hopefully you guys do too. Also, the actual like video quality is better. It shoots yeah. in 4K instead of like 1080p. Barely. My audio goes down a little bit, but my audio is going to be solved pretty soon though. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this episode of Everything Whiskey, leave us a like. If you want to see future episodes of us, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do, see you next one. Cheers. Cheers.